So with the extreme approach, what is wrong with this kind of approach, do you guys think? Permasalahannya with approaching in the, you know, these kind of extreme diet approach. I mean, we get a lot of clients saying, um, well, coach, I've tried probably eating a thousand calories because you want to lose the weight fast. Now, the problem with this approach is that they're looking for really, really quick results. That is right. not sustainable. That is the major, uh, major challenge with what, what their mindset is. Right. They want to lose fast, but they don't know and they don't understand what comes after that. Mm-hmm. They, they might crave a lot of food. They might actually um, be a detrimental towards their metabolism if they eat very, very few calories. And it's just hard for them to have enough energy for the day, Ex- especially when you're about to train also. And then they think that, oh, I need to be eating this few calories. I need to be training a lot. And then how can I keep up with this later? They think that nutrition and training just becomes so hard. It's not sustainable. What do you think, Andy? Kalau buat aku yang pertama, kita mesti lurusin dulu berat badan sih. Karena mindset orang itu pengen turun berat badan. Mm-hmm. Karena mindset orang tuh kalau kurus itu ideal, berat badan yang, yang rendah itu bagus gitu. Padahal bukan berat badan, tapi lebih komposisi tubuhnya. Karena gimana ya, mungkin emang dari dulu ditekankan adalah berat badan, berat badan, berat badan. Tapi sekarang kita mau mengedukasi orang, jangan fokus ke berat badan. Karena banyak orang yang berat badan tinggi, tapi dia muscle massnya tinggi. Mm-hmm. It's okay kan sebetulnya. Yeah. Kecuali kalau dia berat badan tinggi, tapi dia fat massnya tinggi itu baru bermasalah. Itu yang mesti kita luruskan dan kita mesti di, mesti apa ya, mesti samakan persepsi dulu. Jangan sampai kita fokusnya berat badan terus. Karena kalau, let's say ada misalnya ibu hamil, pengen, eh, ibu menyusui lah, misalnya dia berat badan 55 kilo, habis melahirkan. Itu kan normal sebenarnya. Tapi obses dengan turun berat badan sampai 40 kilo seperti sebelum dia hamil. Itu kan nggak normal. Yeah. Karena dia masih menyusui, dia masih mengeluarkan energi lebih gitu. Jadi buat aku sih yang penting sekarang adalah, um, mengubah mindset atau menyamakan persepsi bahwa jangan fokus ke berat badan tapi fokus ke komposisi tubuh yang ideal dan energi yang kita pakai untuk sehari-hari kebutuhan kita itu sih. A thousand percent agree. I think the culture and the miseducation of overemphasizing. I won't say miseducation. I think overemphasizing the number of berat badannya the weight mm-hmm. scale. Uh, I think that is one of the biggest uh, issue. about fitness and uh, problem because banyak orang lebih fokus di berat badan than they focus on the muscle mass instead or even you know the body fat percentage or even just the way they feel right jadi somebody could have been and kita lihat ini sering sekali di gym right somebody is like physically they look good They get stronger, they lose some inches. Tapi pas they step step on the in body, oh, kok cuma segini hilangnya atau oh uh, malah naik atau malah sama gitu. Padahal they don't really pay attention to uh, all the other changes, right? All the other uh, factor that actually uh, more important to your health uh, and to your fitness journey, you know. And it's our job as a coach to kind of uh, educate people. Tapi kalau people have a preset mindset it's kind of hard also hard. to mm-hmm. to penetrate mm-hmm. that padahal kita kayak look you're actually doing good you know by the way uh, on a side note i think we should create a campaign like like f body weight or you know what i mean like like we need to create something or like we should start a a campaign of like body weight don't matter or something like that you know just a just a side note i think it, i think it needs i think it needs to be done where Uh, we can't continue overemphasizing on the body weight, lah. You know, I think we need to start saying something about body weight. Uh, doesn't, you know, it's not, it's not a make or break, or it's not something that people needs to overemphasize.